Welcome back, Gundam guys and Gundam gals. Patrick Grade here from ggmfit.com. And today I'm very happy to bring you the unboxing video for the newest HGUC available at ggmfit.com. The Rizal Type C Defensor B Unit in General Revel Custom Colors. Now the Rizal has been seen pretty often in the Unicorn anime in different variations. We have the Commander Type and the Standard Rizal Type in the original bluish colors. And this Type C Defensor Unit showed up at the end of Episode 5 of the Unicorn anime in its unique color scheme with its dual Mega Beam launchers on its shoulders. It had some good on-screen time before they all got killed by the Rosen Zulu and the Sinanju, I believe. But I could be wrong about that. It's been a while since I saw the animes. But they did have some good on-screen moments, and I'm very happy to have this kit. Let's go take a look at the box. On the front, we have some nice artwork here. A nice big size Rizal Type C here, charging up one Mega Beam Launcher with a couple different versions of it in the background here, fighting off the oncoming sleeve units. So good artwork here on front. Along one side here, we get the front and back shot of the completed kit. It looks nice and bulky. Got a lot of extra stuff coming off the sides in the back there, so I'm excited as good as kit looks in person. In the center, we have some suit information, as well as on the side here, uh, the stats about the suit and everything. On the opposite side here, we've got the transformation for the kit in mobile suit and wave rider form. Showing off all the joints on the Mega Beam launcher, the handle, all the thrusters on the back and stuff there. So The kit sells for about $35 or so, I think, at ggmfit.com, so head over there if you want to pick up your own kit. Moving on to the A-plate, we have a nice four-color A-plate with a lot of light gray, white plastic here for a lot of the armor. Some muted orange up here on the top. Not very bright, I like it's this kind of a dull orange. A little bit of gray here on the side, and the beam saber and eye pieces for the kit. So, good stuff here on the A plate. We have a small B plate here, pieces for the shield, backpack, transformation pieces, uh, thruster covers, and beam saber handles. Nothing too much going on here. Again, nicely detailed. Two identical C plates for parts for the armor on the arms and the feet. We have the grenade launchers here for the forearms. Uh, some armor for the elbows and shoulders and stuff. And again, these are identical small C plates here. We have two D plates, the D1 and the D3, but no D2. The D1 is just a, the upper half of the D3 plate. Uh, we have these are pieces for the thrusters, accent pieces. This is the cockpit piece for the transformation, and the neck area and a couple different accent pieces there. So the, and these are in bright white, there's no gray color here. So we have at least four or five colors going on in this kit, which is nice to see in a high grade. Next up is a big E plate in the dark gray plastic. A lot of joint pieces here, hands, feet, thrusters, uh, transformation piece there, knees. This is a lot of different stuff here. They all look really good. A lot of good detail again. Good dark plastic there. Another plate of the dark gray is for the F plate. Uh, joints for the Mega Beam Launchers, transformation pieces, and a couple different areas here. Next up is the H-plate, which has a lot of parts for one of the Mega Beam Launchers, and a transformation or a backpack piece here, and one trigger finger hand. A lot of good detail on the Mega Beam Launcher here. A lot of good etching and stuff. We have a pipe going across the top here, and it should be white, but it's all one piece of plastic there, so you either have to leave it as it is, or paint it if you want it to be anime accurate, but that's not too big of a deal, I don't think. More black plastic on the eye plate, another beam launcher, more trigger finger hands, more thrusters. Uh, these are probably parts of the shield here, more thrusters and vents and stuff over here. So a lot of accent pieces on this guy. The mega beam launcher is the same deal as it was on the eye plate, so no variation there. Back to the light gray or off-white color, we have two J plates, which are mirror images of each other. These are parts for the shield, the thrusters, and a couple different wings and stuff here on each plate. It's for either side of the mobile suit. So a lot of good detail here, a lot of lines to panel line if you want to, and to help bring out the detail. We also have a K-plate, which has more parts for joints and thruster areas and probably some transformation pieces as well. We have two long beam saber blades for the beam saber handles. A pretty decent sized plate of poly caps. And we have one sheet of foil stickers with a lot of white stickers, yellow and orange stickers on there. And a couple uh, reflective stickers here in the back. And we also have one small sheet of marking decals. If you want to have a couple different units and give them all different numbers and stuff, you can use these guys. Some unit stickers there and numbers and everything, so cool stuff. Taking a quick look at the manual. Standard high-grade Universal Century stuff here on front. Reproduction shot of the completed mobile suit. Information about the height, weight, armaments, and all that kind of good stuff up here in the corner. And then on the back here, we see reproduction of all the action shots and stuff along the edges of the box. Sorting off all the articulation, the marking seals, down here we have a reproduction of the, the suit information from the episode 5. A painting guide down here at the bottom. 
splash page on here inside showing all the different units we've seen so far in HDUC versions and in this show as well as some full color artwork for the instructions here a couple pages of that about six or seven pages or so of instructions to put this guy together so this is a pretty good size HDUC kit all right so that'll do it for the unboxing video I have both versions of the Rizal for the high grade kit as well as the master grade standard version so I really love the Rizal design we have quite a bit of plastic here to go through so this is a good size high grade kit and hopefully it'll turn out as good as the other Rizal so uh, stay tuned for the review I'll be back in a day or so with that so thanks a lot for Gundam Guy for providing the kit again go over to ggmfood.com at the link below to get your own and stay tuned for the review let me know what you guys think of the kit and the designs of the Rizal how are you guys liking all the unicorn suits so far so thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned for the video review, and I'll see you soon.